conducted yourself very good in this camp. I appreciate that. You've not had uh, any problems. That's always a good thing to think about what you might have to handle. But, uh, you've been great. And uh, Chad preached his heart out, responded around the altar, and that's good. Amen. I want uh, Brother Carter to come and to receive her offering and to say what's on his heart and uh, get her pastor testify. It's always good to hear from them, the support that they give. Amen. Every year and uh, the churches that are represented here, thank you so much for allowing your young people to come and be a part of uh, our youth retreat here. Hopefully, and Lord willing, we'll be back again next year. But God will be coming any time. So this might be the last youth retreat. You better get in tonight. Amen. So, Brother Clark, Amen. Have you enjoyed Camp Echo this week? Yeah. Have you been blessed this week? Yeah. God spoke to the Lord this week. Amen. It is over yet. That's right. Amen. God is not done. I, I, I used to work with Bible school students and uh, you'd take them on a ministry and one of the things they'd get up to say when they got up the scene was, we're not here to entertain. No joke, I'll take better money. <laughs> but tonight we are here to entertain. Come on. I looked at that word entertain one time and it says to hold the attention of pleasantly. To have as a guest provide food to admit to the mind, cherish. Amen. We are here to entertain the Lord God Almighty. Amen. Amen. That's who we're entertaining. Amen. Amen. What did you bring to bring food? Amen. He feeds upon your worship. He feeds upon your But possessing fire, Hallelujah. nothing else matters. Amen. Tonight, young people, when you go home, it doesn't matter whether you're the most popular person in your youth group. It doesn't matter whatever seniors we might have. If you go on to be a millionaire, amen, it doesn't matter if you go on to be the biggest sports hero or the, or the biggest singer on, uh, on some TV show. It doesn't matter. Are destitute of fire. Amen. They don't have what we had last night, and that was the divine power of God. Amen. That's all that matters. Do you have the fire? Amen. I pray that you do tonight. Amen. I want to hear from all of my pastors tonight. Amen. Brother Bird, start us off tonight. Praise God. I'm glad to be saved. I sure do appreciate what the Lord has been doing here in the services that have been able to be in. I appreciate the preaching of the Word of God, the presence of God. The Word of God says in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. At His right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Right. Sin only offers the pleasures for a season, That's but right. God offers pleasures for eternity. Amen. God bless His name and thank you for saving my soul. Amen. Amen. Brother Everett, stand and testify tonight. Praise God. I too can join each night. That was just a powerful move of the Holy Ghost last night. We appreciate what God's doing in the hearts of these young folk. And also, uh, the older ones here. And uh, just appreciate getting in. And uh, I'll tell you, what we put into it, we'll get out of it. Praise yes. God. So, I'm just glad I'm a, a part of a family of God. So, praise the Lord. Amen. Brother Jeffers, stand. That's the one. It's good to be here tonight. Appreciate the goodness of the Lord. God is faithful. Uh, appreciate what he's done in here at this camp. Service on Wednesday. Just forward to God doing great things. That's 
Amen. How do you young people appreciate it, Brother Seville? Amen. I appreciate the presence of the Lord as well. I like what Brother Burke said. Amen. And his presence is full of joy. But I like what Brother Chad preached last night. It's important for us to have a move of the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. Sister Carter said it well. There's times when the enemy will want to come by, discourage you, make you feel like you're alone, make you want to give in and give out. Amen. Right. And I'm thankful for the visitation of God that preserves uh, us. Right. Amen. When the Holy Ghost comes by, and he on us, we begin to speak in another tongue. Amen. Sometimes they'll set our feet to shout. Sometimes the tears will roll. Sometimes they'll slay us in His presence. Amen. Yeah. But one thing that is for sure, when He visits with us, He oh, will preserve yes. us. Right. Amen. It's necessary for us to be preserved. It's necessary for us to preserve what God gives us. Young people, if I can challenge you, do not forget these two men that we talked about, Abraham. Amen. The challenges of the call. Amen. The challenges of the integral. Yeah. The challenges of the pinnacle. Amen. The challenge of being alone. Amen. Oh. God is with you. Amen. Amen. He has great things yes. for you. Amen. When you go back home and you feel like Joash and you're all by yourself. Amen. You think, God, do you know where I'm at? Does oh. anyone know where I'm at? Let me tell you, there's times where the King David came by and he visited with Joash. Yeah. It may not have been Amen. But when King David came by, Joash was ready for the visit because he'd been doing his job. Amen. Keep the oil. Preserve it. Prepare it. Amen. Yes. The king is coming by. Amen. When he comes by, make sure that you're ready for his visitation. Amen. Because he wants to preserve you. Amen. Amen. Glad for you, Ken. It's an honor and privilege to be here. Amen. Amen. Well, I have a counselor who wants to stand and testify. Brother Boyer is making his way over here right now. Amen. A lot of counselor has a testimony on your heart. Sister Ruth, you remain standing. When are you heading to South Korea? Uh, July, 20th. July 20th. And so I highly recommend Sister Ruth, if anyone wants to give her a Pentecostal handshake, I am back in her. So if you still live, be a blessing to her tonight. It's good to have Brother Boyer with us tonight, Brother Boyer. You're already standing. Go ahead and testify. Praise God. Good to be here tonight. And I hope that somebody got something at this youth camp that can go home and help their pastor out. Amen. 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 Pastors, 
are not in the trenches by themselves or should not be. Right. They need young people that are anointed by God that have a fire inside and want to do something for the Lord. I know at our church our young people go out every Sunday when they can and try to knock on some doors and tell, tell others to come to church. Go home to your church. Find your pastor. Ask him what you can do to help out. Yeah. God did something for you here. It will shine forth what you do after you get it. We need it tonight. Don't get me wrong. We need young people that are on fire for God. Amen. There's a lot of old people. We always look for the old people to do something for God. But I want the young people to do something for God. Amen. The Bible tells us just as much in the last days as the elders have something from God. And we need elders to have an anointing of God, don't we, church? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But there is also something that is to be poured out in the last days on the younger people. Oh, and right. I want to see young people used for God. And by working together, the elder generation and the younger generation, we will turn the world upside down around us. If we're interested in fight between the two generations, you might as well kiss the power of God goodbye. Right. It'll never come down. Right. But the moment that we can work together right. as one, amen, right. under the anointing of God, we will see a move of God in our movement. And that's what we need today. We need you young people. You're so vital to us, to our existence going forward. I'm glad. I hope God did something for you here at this youth camp. God bless you tonight. Thanks, Amen. Thank you, pastors. This time I'm going to take up an offering. I don't know how much in the red we are, but uh, we're pray, praying to lead in the black. And you've always been good to support Camp Echo, and I expect nothing else tonight. Amen. Brother Wesley, Brother Trevor, come take up this offering tonight. It's the best way to pray. Something. Brother Peterman, would you say the prayer over the offering tonight? God is this. Jesus, we thank you so much, Lord, for being in your yeah. presence here tonight, dear Lord. Lord, we just ask that the Holy Spirit come down before us tonight, dear Jesus. Lord, we ask that you bless this offering tonight. Lord, Lord, we ask that you glorify it, Lord, to, Thank you. to meet your need, Lord. Yes. Thank you. Lord, we're just so thankful to be in your presence. Lord, we're just asking this in your precious holy name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 